Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. I'm back with a new video. Today I will be creating a monochrome canvas in white and lavender. I'm starting with a small canvas. I will be decorating the reverse side of it. And the first step for me is to apply a thick layer of white crackle texture paste. I applied it everywhere on the top side of the canvas and also on the sides, inside and outside. I like to leave the crackle paste to dry on its own, but you can use a heat gun to speed up that process. And in the meantime, I'm going to paint the frame. I have a frame made out of resin. I used Finaber mold for that. And now I'm using just ordinary kitchen sponge cut into small piece and acrylic paint in lavender. The, this is metallic paint. It's very shiny. And that's why my next step will be to apply a gesso on top of the paint. You just need to wait first for the paint to dry. I will be applying two layers of gesso first with the sponge again and then another laying use, layer using dry brush. I want to create like a washed off effect. Effect. I don't want to uh, see. I want to also uh, make the frame matte because it was really shiny. I'm still going to see the lavender color but applying quite generous amount of gesso on top. While this is drying, I'm going back to my canvas using the same lavender paint, this time just mixed with water, very watery, I'm applying on the canvas. I want the lavender go into cracks. Then again, you need to dry that. <laughs> I know, lots of painting, lots of drying. But when this is dry, I am using stamp and uh, archival ink. The stamp looks like cracks <laughs> as well, so I'm going to add more texture to the canvas just in few random places and then I'm going to uh, start building the composition. The whole idea for the canvas uh, was inspired actually by Prima Collection Aquarel Dreams. I really love the color combo in that collection and I have created a few projects with it. And today I'm focusing only on the lavender. I will be using some amphora elements and uh, some purple and white flowers and pieces of lace. Actually don't have many elements here. And uh, I will also use another resin element, which comes, <laughs> comes here later. When I uh, had like a basic composition, I thought I need something more to, to add in one place. And then you will see that the lovely small resin uh, heart will help, uh, help me finish the composition.
I'm using French lavender wax for the heart. It has a lovely texture. It looks like a metal plates uh, on top of each other. I really like that and I wanted to make it more visible. That's why I'm using brush and the wax just to go on uh, edges of the of the uh, those elements to show that texture. And then I'm going to add few more uh, little pieces, leaves and small flowers. And I will be finishing off the composition with art stones. This will be all for today. I'm glad you are here watching this video. Please, if you like it, leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel. I'm always happy to share my uh, process videos with you. Thank you very, very much for all the comments and um, yeah, have a lovely creative day. Bye bye.